Alrighty, so we have an exciting update for you guys today, packed with a lot of information. Um, so as you can tell, um, there's lots going on. The station work is nearing completion. They're putting a roof on the storage shed for the trains. They're actually landscaping in and around the turnout of the station. They're landscaping the first Immelman. They're landscaping the whole area. But I wanted to quickly go over where these buildings are going to go. There's been a lot of misinformation on it. So the black dot on this map is actually going to be the cafe. So Miner's Cafe. The red dot is going to be Klondike Gold Rush, the merch store. The blue dot is actually going to be a really big mess hall. They started building it if you just saw it in the first um, footage. The green dot is the... Um, Coca-Cola Refresh and Canadian Dessert Store. I forget what it's called. Um, can't remember them all yet. And the brown dot over by the second Immelman is actually going to be that little wagon um, where they're going to sell some things. So that's where all the stores are located. That is for sure. That is confirmed um, based off of the map locations and where we're seeing concrete pads from the drone footage and the buildings going up. The blue dot is actually a really big mess hall like i originally thought so that's super exciting that's what i was hoping for you can see the foundation and the building going up right there um the exit of yukon striker is actually a really giant ramp from what we can tell we can see a little bit of it in the top right or like left of the station building there and it goes all the way down into that building the klondike gold rush building that's how we know that's going to be the merch store now They've started some rock work in and around the exit of the Immelman, out of the exit of the tunnel. Uh, it looks like it's going to look really nice. They put some rock work around the support columns. Looks like they're placing rocks using the excavator in the fenced off area to like make it look like uh, maybe like rock work or something. I have no idea, but definitely lots of rock work going on there. They are done. The pathway where Orbiter used to sit, the fencing's up. They're also done the uh, the fencing around Yukon so they put up a black fence around Yukon it looks like almost the entire ride is complete if you look closely um and uh yeah just a lot going on the coca-cola refresh looks like it's done it's been stained now too you can see it's got that really dark look, wood look to it love it it looks stunning um I don't know if the miners cafe is just going to be the old mine buster kind of store that used to be there or if they're going to renovate it into look more Canadian. I have no idea. That's the only building I don't know or can't see them building. Uh the wagon is probably going to be something similar to what you see in Medfair. If you know what I'm talking about, they have a food truck that's themed to some sort of wagon, medieval wagon. They might do something similar um in the Frontier Canada location. I can't fully see them using um, the food truck from Medfair, although it would make sense because they sell hamburgers and hot dogs and stuff just at the store, Thrill Burger, which is now renamed to a medieval name, um, King's Feast. So uh, I could see them reusing that located right there, but then again, they sell chicken fingers and that literally just across from the wagon as well. So it'll be interesting to see if they build a whole new food truck wagon type thing or if they're just going to reuse the Medfair one. Um, that being said, the station's paneling is all going up. Um, testing has now stopped from what we can tell. Again, there is a lot of construction workers in and around here. They are pushing to finish this in time for the first rider auction, which is now in six days. Um, so we'll have some really exciting footage for you guys in six days about the area complete. This is one of our last drone updates. This is either our second last um, or it could be our last. I think we are actually flying today, so it's not our last, but I have a feeling it's going to be our second last um, based off of what the weather looks like. If not, we might get up Monday as well, so it might be our third last update. But uh, it is our definitely our third last update um, for sure. So uh, at minimum, it's our third last update. So hopefully you guys really enjoy it. I definitely wanted to update you guys because things are really starting to progress. If you're looking at the turn of the station, you can even see the landscaping. It looks like they have some white stone is my guess. Um, it's either cement or white stone. I can't see them throwing cement down. Basically, there's like this white path that follows the turn of the station. Um, either it could be a river. Maybe water's going to flow in there, and that's what that is. Or it's white stone, so I can't see them just throwing cement down there and leaving it in a Yukon-themed area. But nonetheless, super impressed. The building over in Kingswood is uh, done construction. It looks great. It's massive. It's definitely going to be used for um, the school events and other events maybe held later on in the year. An events tent. 
Um, but other than that, yeah, not too much else going on. It's going to be a really big year for updates. The entire park has received renos from Medfair to Frontier Canada to the Kingswood Theatre area. Um, and I expect that's going to continue well on into 2021, 2022 um, as they upgrade the park. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this update. Um, I am getting a lot of questions about the first rider auction for Yukon Striker. Uh, they will be announcing uh, the winner this week. So you will know by this week if you won or not. Anyways, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.